Hey everyone, Mark here. Welcome to my channel. 52 years today, on June 10th, 1972, Elvis performed two shows at the famed Madison Square Garden Arena. Um, he performed an afternoon show at 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, June 10th, and then he performed an evening show um, at 8.30 p.m. Uh, both shows were recorded by RCA, uh, with the plans of releasing a live album just nine days after these concerts, which is what they did. And uh, the story goes that Colonel Parker was trying to beat the bootleggers and wanted to release an official uh, album of this concert. Of course, the evening show was the show that was selected. In my opinion, I believe it was because it was a shorter concert. Um, the afternoon show of the four shows that Elvis performed at Madison Square Garden was the longest. Um, it had four additional songs that the evening show did not have. So Elvis performed there uh, June 9th, Friday, June 9th, an evening show. A matinee on Saturday, an evening show, Saturday evening. And only three shows had originally been planned, but because the tickets sold out so fast, they added a fourth show, which also immediately sold out. Um, so the release I'm going to show you is actually one of my favorite releases. Now, this particular release came out at a time when you didn't have the onslaught of Elvis product that is out today. Um, it's this release, Elvis, Prince from Another Planet, as recorded in Madison Square Garden. It is a three-disc set. CD1 has the afternoon show on June 10th. CD2 is the evening show, which was released publicly. And then the third disc is a DVD, where it's an audience recording uh, segments from the afternoon show. And what they did was they synced up the audio from the afternoon show with the video perfectly. It's really cool uh, to see. It is interrupted. Yes, some areas where it's kind of blacked out. But overall, it's a very enjoyable uh, watch. And then also they have um, the complete WNBC New York film of the Ju June 9th press conference, which is 12 minutes long. There's also a 20 minute mini documentary featuring footage from Elvis's June 9th press conference, the June 9th evening show and the June 10th afternoon show, plus new interviews with Lenny Kay, uh, James Burton, Glenn D. Harden, Joe Gershio, Jerry Schilling, and so forth. I won't read the whole thing. Um, but this, like I said, this came out in 2012 on the 40th anniversary of these shows. Um, at the time, like I said, you didn't have not even anywhere close of the type of, or the kind of uh, releases that were coming out. FTD had just started, being had, had been around for a little bit. They were releasing some things, but not like you have today. Um, but I think this sounds really good. Um, I bought this at a time where I was not collecting really anything of Elvis. In 1997, uh, RCA released on the 25th anniversary, An Afternoon in the Garden. And I remember being so excited when the news hit that that was being released. It had never been heard before. And at the time, I don't think many people even knew that they recorded the afternoon show. So that was a nice treat. So here <clears throat> is, there's the original, what the original cover looked like. Of course, this was uh, from, I want to say, the April, I know it was in April 1972 in Jacksonville, Florida. I want to say April 10th, but uh, you can let me know if I'm correct on that. I'm not sure if that's right. That is the cover of The Afternoon in the Garden uh, that came out in 1997. Awesome, awesome picture from The Afternoon Show. And here's some news clippings, things like that. So very cool. And then it did come, there's a picture of Elvis on the back that is, I believe, from the uh, evening show. Yes, he's wearing the gold championship belt. You can see the, the back of the belt there. And it comes with a very informative booklet. Empire State Building. And I believe I did, not. I'm thinking about it, I believe I did do a video on this a long time ago. But uh, in honor of the uh, 50th anniversary, or 52nd anniversary, I should say, I wanted to do this video. So 
Um, just some pictures of that evening show. And The Prince from Another Planet, that title came from the New York Times saying that Elvis appeared as a prince from another planet. Almost otherworldly. He was tanned. He was ready to go. He just came off a vacation in Hawaii. He had trimmed down, and I think he looked and sounded fantastic. He wore this. He wore this suit on the evening show, and then he wore what they called the wheat suit, which we'll get to that in a second. There's Elvis and his band. Uh, but the wheat suit actually is my favorite jumpsuit Elvis ever wore. And I believe he only wore it two more times after that June 10th performance. He wore it a few days later uh, after that, I think on the 18th, or no, I'm sorry. I want to say on maybe the, the 13th or 14th of, of June, and then he wore it again about a week later. And then he gave it to a friend. He gave it to his wife, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken on that. I never claimed to be the Elvis expert, so... You can fact check me if you want. And there is the afternoon. There's the wheat suit, the blue with the gold uh, overlay, the belt. There's some newspaper clippings. Um, and then the, the, uh, the cape was very much like the uh, suit, gold lined. Yeah, all this looked really, really great. Sounded awesome, too. Just some, some good good information on this, too. Okay, there's the June 10th evening show. I may have said it wrong. The other photos were from June 9th, the one where he was wearing the gold championship belt. So this was the evening of June 10th, the concert that was actually recorded. Elvis at the microphone stand. Here's a cool picture. I believe he's doing Hound Dog there, which he would strike that familiar pose whenever he did that song. And this particular, they called this the Madison Square Garden suit about two summers ago, I believe. It sold at auction for a pretty insane amount of money. Some different releases, a ticket stub. And you can still get this. Every once in a while, I will see this on eBay, a new copy. It's, it's kind of going up there in price because it's long deleted. Uh, of course, FTD released this, I believe, last year. And it's, it's a better mix. A lot of people really like this mix better. So I don't have... A real keen ear on being able to tell a whole lot of difference. I think they're both really good. They're both great for what they are. I love the FTD release. Of course, this was shortly after when Elvis was presented with a gold record for the concert. Is that the last one? Yeah, that's the. That, yeah, that is the last one. And then, of course, the New York City skyline on the back. So yeah, uh, really, really hard to believe. 1972 was a pretty, uh, pretty busy year in my household. Uh, my youngest sister, my only sister, was uh, born in January of 1972. She would kill me if she heard me saying my age, but uh, she was born that January when Elvis was beginning, beginning his residence at the Las Vegas Hilton. Um, that summer, probably about the time Elvis recorded this, did these concerts, uh, my parents bought us kids a huge pool. My dad had it assembled. Now, back then, you didn't have a, there wasn't a whole lot of in-ground pools. It was the above ground, like octagon cut kind of pool, but it was about four and a half, five feet deep. It had a big deck, had a big ladder, took up probably about 90% of our backyard, but we were the envy of the neighborhood for a number of summers until my dad finally had to tear it down years later. And he actually 
disassembled it and it was in really great shape and he sold that and sold it to uh, somebody on, uh, you know, in the paper, I guess he advertised in the paper and sold it. But uh, it was right before I started kindergarten. So it was my summer before kindergarten. So just a lot of uh, cool things happening in 1972. And I do remember it well. I was little, I was very little, I was four years old, but I do remember uh, my dad getting that pool. I remember my sister coming home from the hospital and uh, my grandmother bending down and showing me her. But uh, just a great year, great year for Elvis. This album means a lot to me. It was one of the first albums I had when I was a kid. Uh, I played the heck out of it. Uh, and I think it's just, it was just a great time in Elvis's career. And in fact, the Afternoon in the Garden concert to this day stands as my favorite all-time uh, uh, favorite uh, concert Elvis ever did. Um, like I said, it runs a little over an hour, but I think Elvis was in great form. He was in a fantastic mood working with the audience. He sped things up. Uh, he didn't talk as much as he did in uh, you know, 69 and 1970. Uh, he kind of just went through the songs. And as the liner notes say, you know, the fans barely had a chance to get back in their seat and catch their breath because Elvis was just moving from one song to no another. It was a very high energy show. Uh, would have loved to have been there. Ed from the King's Court, his parents had the uh, privilege of attending all four shows. Check out Ed's channel and uh, um, you'll enjoy that. But uh, again, do appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, all of you. Bye.